Welcome to the GCN Tech Show. Coming up this week, we have the most bizarre saddle we have ever seen. We have Zwift Academy news, we've got new SRAM levers, and comments of the week, and the bike vault. Plus, of course, we have our main talking point, where we are going to be discussing what we feel would make the perfect bike. Right, man on, should we do it? Let's do it. So what is the perfect bike? Well, man, that is an interesting question. And um, if I'm honest, I'm not sure anyone truly knows the answer to that. And it's perhaps why we're starting to see so many different bike types and designs emerging. I do see a problem here because I feel like it is impossible to have the perfect bike. First of all, everybody has different tastes, different style, different preferences. And again, it's impossible to have everything you want in one bike. You're gonna to have to like compromise somewhere along the lines. And Definitely. it's probably the reason why we're starting to see lots of different categories of bikes. We've got aero bikes, lightweight bikes, lightweight aero bikes, time trail bikes, crit bikes, all road bikes, gravel bikes, cyclocross bikes, commuter bikes, race gravel bikes, mountain bike gravel bikes, and folding bikes. And the aero list, bikes, and lightweight bikes. The list goes on and on and on. Um, so Manon, what, in your humble opinion, would be the perfect bike? This is a very tricky question, Alex, because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you asked me this question like five years ago, my answer would be very different, which probably means in five years from now, so I'm probably gonna have again. another different answer. Well, I didn't ask him for five years from now. Okay, well, want? okay. Right now, I really enjoy road riding, gravel riding. Yeah. So I'd want a bike that combines both those together. So I would want, Debatably, I would want a road bike that could go on gravel. You want an all-road bike? Yeah, basically, but I want to have a bike that... I quite like modern bikes, like nice sleek aero tubing, quite, uh -huh. quite chunky boy tubes. Yeah. Um, and enough clearance that I could ride off-road. Nice, comfortable geometry, so not necessarily the most aggressive geometry, because uh -huh. aero days are gone, don't need to be going fast anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, chunky boy tyres, I'd probably have carbon wheels, and the bike would probably be made of carbon, do yeah. that on the carbon. Okay. And it would be matte black as well. But then Interesting. But I do, you know, full stealth mode I like, but then I do like a bit of, you know, a bit of something, so maybe I'd do a bit of metallic. Oh, like a pop or, of colour somewhere? Yeah, a okay. bit of sparkle somewhere. Along the line. So if you, you want to have like both options, on-road, off-road, what kind of tyre clearance are we talking? Because this is a big, big topic here. Up to 3840s, maybe? Yeah, all right, okay. Um, gearing, brakes, what are we talking? Um, disc brakes, definitely. Yeah. Um, electronic gears and yeah. two by, and I'd probably have to have quite a lot of easy gears, because <laughs> <laughs> not going anywhere fast anymore, and especially if you're gonna take it off-road, you want a few more easy gears. Um, what else is there, have I? I think you've kind of covered it. Is there anything like practical, like, wise you'd be having on your bike. You have panniers, mud guards, what are you thinking? Storage? No to all. I don't. You want none of that? No. None of the above? No, my perfect bike is not having panniers. I'm sorry. Not even the option to have panniers on it? No. I'll not have, interested. I'll, I'll have someone to carry my bags for me. Um, okay, right. I've, of course, I've made myself a little list. Go on, hit us with it. Right, so <laughs> I am going to have... Um, the like base outline of the bike is going to be like traditional shapes, so I want kind of like traditional-ish geometry, but still with a little bit of like I want it to look like an old school bike, but be modern. Think along the silhouette of like the new Orbea Orca, right? Are we thinking like ra yeah, like round, round tubes, tubes, round tubes, but modern-ish geometry. I don't, I guess to, the, I don't the, want it to feel old school. The Orbea Orca is quite a good comparison. Yeah, imagine that I, kind I, of silhouette. Yeah. I'm absolutely loving riding that bike at the moment. Also, it's mud guarded up. In terms of... Um, Does everybody need to know that? <laughs> well, someone commented underneath my mud guard video the other day. I was like, oh, I could better take those straight off afterwards. No, oh, they're still on there. Yeah. Yeah. I've got mud guards on my bike now as well. Um, in terms of material, you said you'd go carbon fibre. I would. I'm going to go down the lines of titanium because it's a material which I think is really cool and I've never owned a titanium bike. Okay, so you want it because it's cool. And you've never had yeah, it and I think it would be really nice to ride. But what if you get it and you don't like it? Well, that's, that's just a risk I'm willing to take. But then it wouldn't be a perfect bike. So don't, yeah, don't crush my dreams. <laughs> okay, on okay, the okay, carry on, bike. carry on. So I'd what want, else have we got on this I'd bike? I'd want to tear bikes. I'd want, I would want internal storage. 
<laughs> you're not bothered about practicality. Why would you not want to be able to put things inside your bike instead of looking like it's all strapped onto the outside? Great idea. I don't know how you're doing that entertaining him yet. Um, I would want to be able to ride it on-road and off-road. I'd be going a similar kind of theme to you. I'd want it to feel a bit racy on-road, but also have clearance for... I'm going to go 40 mil tyres. Mm -hmm. I think you can kind of cover the best of both worlds for that. Gearing and brakes, disc brakes, obviously. I mean, you can argue with me in the comments about that if mm. you want. Electronic shifting, I'm going to go two by because I think it just covers all basis. And... Um, Carbon wheels, yeah. yeah. Well, because I don't want to be like super practical with like saying I want panniers and mud guards and stuff, which I do, but carbon wheels sort of bling it up a little bit. Mm. So I guess we kind of have quite similar. Similar ish? Similar, but mine's a little bit more modern and not as practical. And yours is basically like. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yours, I, is, more, just yours is more sensible. I was waiting for you to try and slam my perfect bike and slam no, 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 it. No, 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 that's right. If that's your perfect bike, that is your perfect bike. It's not mine, it's yours. I feel like I want a bit of. A what bit colour of would it be? Um, well, if it's titanium, I would want it to be um, like, like a rainbow anodized finish on it. Like, oh, yeah. Like, where's my little key fob? Like this. Like this. How cool is it? <laughs> We've both got the same things. That's quite a cool yeah, colour. Yeah, that actually. colour to be fair, that's a bit better. Um, so nice. I think that's what I would go with. I feel like part of the bike designs that we've discussed that would be perfect for us almost does fit into that category of an all road bike. Mm. It does a bit of both. It's kind of modern geometry. It's not designed to be crazy fast. It's kind of covering all bases. Yeah. So maybe there is something to be said for modern all road bikes, but it isn't just about our opinions, is it? Everyone else's no. matters. So I think. It'd be really good to hear people sharing their thoughts on what for them would be the perfect bike in the comments section down below. And like I say most weeks, any of the best ones we'll pick out or mention in next. Yeah, week definitely. Hmm. It's now time for hot and spicy tech. <laughs> We're going to kick these off this week with the most ridiculous looking saddle. But before we do, um, I'm not quite finished talking about my perfect bike yet. I forgot. No, you just bars. had another brainwave, didn't you? Well, no, it was on my list. I just missed it off my list. Handlebars, right? It's super important to me. I would want a carbon bar, which is very similar looking to like the Pinarello one piece fancy job, mm. but I'd want it to have the adjustability of like the canyon system. So I could put it in wide boy mode for gravel and narrow boy mode for racy if I want to go faster. Do you bike. really want to ride that much wider bars on gravel? I've never thought about having wider well, bars. Well, I just want to be able to tweak it. I want to have that option. Think how annoying it is to change the handlebars on a modern bike. Yeah, but surely you're, just, you know, you're used to that one mm. width. Well, as we said, it's my perfect bike, so... Mm. Okay. Would you have flared bars? A small flare. Would you have your hoods pointed in? A little bit, maybe. People are going to hate me for that. Anyway, let's talk about this saddle. Anyway. <laughs> Why? Right, for stars, this is probably the most... I don't want to say stupid, but the most ridiculous looking saddle I think I've ever seen in my it entire life. It is bizarre. What the hell is the extra bit doing at the back? Well, apparently that extra bit is it's designed to go behind you, just yeah. to make that clear. And yeah. it's basically ha meant to help keep your pelvis in a fixed position. Okay, I get the theory behind it. I feel like could have probably gone with a slightly more Does family friendly design. And does it need to be that tall? I'm not sure, actually. I did also... Would, would, also, what if it was, like, wider? Like, covered the whole of the, the back? The side? back wider? Yeah. Maybe. Do you remember... You might not remember. Do you remember seeing that Cell Italia <laughs> It just says jump on. It's just a joke. Is it April Fool's? Is it April 1st? It says jump on. <laughs> Do not jump on that saddle. You're going to cause yourself an injury. Um, I did see a little bit of research um, online somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where I read this. But they, uh, some independent tests by the team at the university showed that it was like 11 seconds faster over, I can't remember what the length of time was. Um, what, somehow, having just having that saddle was claimed to be 11 seconds faster. Really? I'm not sure in what context you want to you know, take it with a pinch of salt or not, but it's interesting. £125 for that bad boy. Yeah. I probably won't ask for it for Christmas, if I'm honest. No, it's not on my Christmas list. Although, right. although we might be missing a trick here, so... Yeah, jokes would be on us if Molly yeah. has one of those and he drops us all. Like, He's going to drop us anyway. So. Yeah. Um, let us know in the comments section down below your thoughts on this interesting looking saddle. Um, also, next up, 
a potential new SRAM lever design. So SRAM filed a patent for what appears to be a smaller lever hood, like the main body of it, mm -hmm. compressed down from what they're currently using. So some of the most obvious and striking differences in the design, well, it's smaller in overall size, it's got a little bit of a flare to it, and it would seem that the reservoir for the brakes has been repositioned rather than current SRAM. It's, it's a little bit high on the front of it. Yeah. So change of that, a little additional button. And, well, hopefully this design sees the light of day because manufacturers are always filing lots of different patents and designs and some of them never even get used. So. Yeah, it'd be really cool to see that. Um, what's next in Hot next Tech? Next up, we've got some Zwift Academy <coughs> news and it is well underway and Alex you've mentioned that you've been doing some of the Zwift Academy workouts. Oh, I actually did the first Zwift Academy workout the other day. It was actually really tough. Was like, it? Well, it's as tough as you want to make it because like the efforts are like free ride ones where you just go all out. Oh. So it's like really difficult yeah. to pace. Um, but also, so yeah, if you want to get involved with Zwift Academy, all of the workouts are available to do like on demand as you choose. And are you going to do them all? I think I'm going to commit to doing it, and the races. Does this mean you could potentially be on the actual Zwift Academy? In theory. I mean, I in theory. You know, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I could. <laughs> in theory, it means this. But let's face it, no, probably not. Um, also, in other news, Zwift have announced the Zwift Games, which is now a thing. So whilst Zwift... Um, are not hosting the UCI Esports World Championships, they have decided to create their own mega championships, which is consistent of three different like events and this categories. Is really cool. So um, you've got the sprint, the epic, and then the hill climb. And then the idea behind this is to encourage participation of all different levels of riders. People want to be deadly serious and people want to do it for fun as well. Nice, I like it. Um, do you want to quickly run through some of the different categories, give us a brief explainer? Yeah, so the first one is the sprint and this race is based around the Zwift Battle Royale, which first debuted at the 2023 UCI Cycling Esports World Championships. It's kind of like lots of different events, so I'd see it as the Omnium event okay. yeah. on Zwift. Um, and it's going to include some courses that we haven't seen before, which is That's super exciting. exciting. Actually, yeah. And next one we have the Epic, which... <laughs> Clues in the name, is it? It is pretty epic. <laughs> it is going to be the longest one. The route hasn't been confirmed yet, but it's going to be at least 60 kilometres. And Is I'm... 60 kilometres epic enough? On, I feel like on Zwift it is. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah. I mean, on the road, probably not, but in Zwift, yeah. Yeah, I'll go yeah. with that, all right. Okay. And then the Hill Climb. Can you guess what climb it's on? Alp de Zwift? It is up Alp de Zwift. I, did, to I didn't guess, actually. It was written in front of me. I mean, but if you were to guess. <laughs> yeah. This sounds like it's um, right up Andrew Feather Street. Yeah. I, maybe maybe he'll he, do it. Could he enter and do it? I think he should. Why not? Yeah. I, let's get him to do not. it. What, you going to get signed up for it? No, I mean, let's get Feather <laughs> to do it. <laughs> and no, riding could. up Alp de Zwift does not um, sound like a It is really cool. Um, also, I read some more information about this and there's going to be like big prize money up for grabs. Really cool. Zwift are uh, all about equality in cycling, so there's going to be equal prize money for men's and women's, which I think is really important. Very important. And then finally in Hot Tech this week, two quick mentions. Well, we've got our Black Friday sale, which is starting over at GCN Shop, so head over, check it out. 50% off they've pick got. Up, yeah, pick up some absolute off. On Castelli as well. I like all the some stuff for myself. You've got, you've got everything. Don't be <laughs> greedy. All right, um, well, more Hot and Spicy Tech next week. It's now time for comments of the week. Manon, hit it with do the first one. Do you do jingle anymore? No, no jingles. Do you want to know something? Uh, yeah. I miss Sai do a jingle on the GCN show. <laughs> so if you want to hear Sai do a jingle, head over to the GCN show after this show. Sai doesn't strike me as a jingle kind of guy. He really impressed me, actually. Oh. Really did impress me. Oh, yeah. Anyway, the first um, comment underneath the last week's show. Ollie is loving getting into the nerdy details. Alex is answering his emails. <laughs> yeah. Great show, guys. Well, I think it was because there was the three of us. Like, Ollie and Josh just, like, had their own little conversation <laughs> for a little bit. Leland? And I was just like, I was like, oh, just, just tweak a bit what um, we're doing and stuff. Yeah, a bit emails. of planning. Yeah. Oh, felt Whatever. a bit left out. Um, Jimbo9030 says, how do you know Josh Portner's on the GCN Tech Show? Well, it goes on for 43 minutes. It was a long you show last it. week. You love it, you love it. We did love that. Um, and uh, true cost of bike tech. Mm. Um, Axel and Ollie have officially become the presenters of the people. Yeah. Well, 
Okay, two things there. I'm happy being called Axel, whatever. Also, we try and keep it as real as we can. I know we always talk about expensive stuff, but it's nice yeah. to mention like budget-friendly stuff when we can. Definitely. Um, Jay Leto says, true story, had I not let myself get sucked into road cycling marketing, I would have already bought a house. I mean, I'm not sure how um, many bikes you buy. Debatable. Yeah, what bikes are you buying if you could have bought a house? Um, underneath the KOM oh, bike yeah. details. Uh, do you want to go this one? Yeah. Yeah, go on. Ollie Lynn to say seller Italia properly, not seller Italia. Huh? Yeah, is it, is it, so it's obviously Italian. I normally say sell Italia. Sell Italia. Are you Italian? No. Go on, one more. Sell Italia. <laughs> you were really quiet. <laughs> right, also, there's another comment from LTRTG13. Uh, that's, they say, I'm happy to hear Ollie say non pro riders could be better off using larger disc brake rotors. Um, they've been ha have a hybrid for a number of years. It's originally had 160, 160 rotors. Um, but they've gone to using a 180 and 160. Recently, they changed the brakes again. They went for 180 and 160 again. Um, basically, I think what they're saying is it's good to see bikes being available to have larger size rotors on. Definitely. Certainly, if you're like a, mm. a bit of a bigger guy, there is an advantage to be had using a 180, certainly on the front. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, fair dues. Very cool. Um, more comments next week, and it's now time for the bike vault. Here we go! Woo I mean, I'm, you, just, you might as well just take that. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start off with the most super nice bike over on the GCN app last week, and it was in from Mit Jadri. Go on. Oh, you were you, you, you that good then? Mit Jadrin Ovec. Travenagovic. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> it's a Factor Ostro. <laughs> I love this bike. It's super stealthy. Very nice. Gold logos. I mean, maybe this would be on the line on the lines of my. Your kind of perfect design. Yeah, as in like the paint. I could go. I could get on board with that. All right. Yeah. Well, what do you make of the bike? You're super nice in it, or you're I mean, just nice in it? I'm super nice in it. There's nothing not super nice about that. Go that on, takes all the, the boxes for me. Okay, and then first up this week, who have we got? Uh, first up this week, we have Peter Ramsey with a Cervelo S3. S3. Very nice. I used to have one of these. Did you? Yeah. Oh, cool. Back in the day. <laughs> I sounded really sarcastic then. I wasn't trying to be sarcastic. Everything is really cool. sarcastic. Yeah. Um, the background the is really messy with my it. eyes. The saddlebag's not doing it. No. Uh, is is a lovely bike. It's a nice one. Very me. nice. Okay, so nice, Alex has said it. Just a nice... Let's move on then. Johnny Tops next with um, a specialised Athos S-Works. Well... E -E a beautiful background. Yeah. Well, how is this bike being propped up? I think the handlebar resting on that silver pole. Uh, <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> it all just kind of blended into one. <laughs> I was like, it's just magic. <laughs> Complete magic. Yeah, on that makes sense. Bike. Um, look, I like it. I don't like the fact that it's ever so slightly backlit, so it's hard to like see all right, the features okay. of the bike. Yeah, but okay, yeah. Are you just like dazed I'd... by thinking that you're going to be on holiday? <laughs> Basically, it's just the the, the blue <clears throat> tranquility of sea. Does look pretty majestic behind. Doesn't yeah, it? I'd, I'd. You go. You I'd, go on. I'd debate that's a super nice. Uh, oh, it's hard I've got to be honest though, I'm struggling to think of lots of reasons to not super yeah. nice it. So then that, like, that's super nice it. Yeah. yeah. Um, next up, who do we have? Uh, next up, Joe Turner. With a... Uh, Cinelli? Yeah, I... Cinelli? It's Cinelli. Sometimes I call it a Cinelli and people are like, <laughs> what an idiot. Is that all right? Cinelli. We all make mistakes. Yeah. Um, right, it's not in Biggie Smalls, it's, it's not even not. in the large chain ring, so mark down that immediately. But, marks for the background, because I feel like that's a nice clean background. <clears throat> yeah. We can see everything clearly. Okay. If it was, we literally just needed it in Biggie Smalls. That back wheel just slightly at six o'clock with a valve. Yeah. Then we would... Could the, we be lenient with this one though? Then the crank's up a little bit. No, because... Okay. No. All right, all right, sorry. <laughs> it's a nice. Um, right, what we've got now? This, um, this is, is from Null. Null, okay, username up on screen. It's the Canyon Grizzle 8 with... Can this is what your Eckhart? bike looks... This is what your perfect bike looks like with all the gubbins. Why are you mocking me? Because you wanted a mudguard, you wanted the 
pannier racks. You wanted <laughs> everything else on I there. I didn't say I wanted one bike, though, did I? No, you didn't, actually. There you go. And I didn't yeah. say I wanted a gravel bike. Well, you, you kind of said you wanted an all. You take that all back, all right? <laughs> I could have. Um, right, I think... Um, I think I know where this is going. It's going to a nice one. Yeah, me. it's going yeah. to nice. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, okay, well, it's been a mega um, GCN tech show yeah, this cool. week. It's always fun having you on the show. Um, please do come back and join us for more episodes. It's I think I might be back next week. Are you? I'm not sure. Maybe. Double bubble, this is amazing. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, do let us know. Get involved uh, in the comments section down below to discuss what you think is your perfect bike. Also, let us know about that blooming saddle from Hot Tech. Yeah, that's... That's something interesting. else. Interesting. Um, we're out of here. <laughs> We've got lots of other stuff to do. We're really busy. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>